Dan is a bit bit of sweet, is it? Like playing so well, but um, obviously not getting that next step for you. Uh, oh yeah. Look, I think you just want to be positive. We've um, we've come a long way in the last couple of months as a footy team, and reality was it was going to take a bit of time. Look, you'd love to have some. There's that many occasions within the season that you'd love to have again, and. Um, but I'm just really proud of, of how we've grown as a group and how we've just bought in. And, and when times were tough, we didn't we didn't move away or, or start to question what we were doing. We just stuck at it, and, and we're starting to see transfer now. And that was a good game of football. Best you played for the year, do you think? Or? Oh, it's up there. It's certainly up there. Just the way we, you know counter-attack tries coming out of our own end, just backing ourselves, you know what I mean? So that's what we've got to continue to do and and, uh, and understand that no matter what part of the field we're in, if there's opportunity there, you take it. And also understand there'll be errors every now and then. And that's um, that's something as a coaching group that you just got to live with. Did you um, pay attention to that game over in Dunedin today? Like, did you guys speak about it beforehand at all? Or? Oh, we didn't speak about it. Uh, yeah, I, I watched it at 34.22, I decided to go and have a shower and I come back out and I thought, yeah, maybe it'll change and then obviously the Highlanders got back in front. Yeah. Um, so it's your fault. So then, yeah, and I probably should have got back in the shower again, but but anyway, um, look, you want the Australian teams doing well, you know. We're in the position we're in um, and, and we'll learn from that. Hopefully the Tars go on now. and. And, and do well within the semi-final series and hopefully the Rebels do the same. You heard kind of hoping this late season surge might see a few more of your guys in the Wallabies squad for the Rugby Championship? Oh, you'd like to think so. Geez, Corin Drani was good. Um, he's been excellent the last, well, probably the last four or five weeks. I thought he was very good in South Africa. But he was outstanding tonight, uh, Tavita. So um, I think he's certainly put his best case forward. I thought Christian's direction and and leadership and, and got us around the park nicely, but it was also nice and square. It was a threat with the ball. Was, you know, there's a number of number of guys there. For our finger, I think he's been outstanding the last few weeks. Tom Banks, yeah, you, you want our guys achieving those those personal uh, honours, and that comes off the back of what we're doing as a team. Dan, Dan, have you seen enough this year to think that next year the wheels are in motion to have a successful one? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, we'll hit the ground running. Can't wait for day one of pre-season and, and just look to get better, you know, continue along the path that we're on and, and just upskill our boys and I think we all know now. It's, it's all, it's not like, oh, you know, this is what Dan's thinking, you know, I'm not sure, everyone knows, we're all on the same path. So now it's, uh, it's exciting what's, what's ahead of us and that's why tonight was important. Gives you momentum going into, into the pre-season. A lot of these boys will, will, will get to play NRC together and, and, and do it all again at that level as well. So. Uh, yeah, the future's bright. We've got some excellent young players um, that, are, that are surrounded by some quality senior players as well. So there's there's nice balance there. It's sad that we're, we're saying goodbye to a few boys, but um, really excited about the direction that uh, that this group's heading in. What areas do you think you need to work on and recruitment, obviously? Um, oh, look, I, I think when I think of recruitment, I want guys with skill, guys that can play footy, because we can't, you know, we can't be bringing guys into the group that, um, that are just good athletes, you know, that, 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 um, that play okay. You know, if, if we're going to promote skill and, and want to use, see opportunity and uh, take advantage of space, then we need guys that can, that can do that. So we're not going to be bringing a whole raft of new players into the group, but the ones that we do, that's, that's going to be important. Have you got a hit list? Who uh, do you think we're bringing? Um, no, not really. No, there's, there's a couple of guys that we're talking to in the in the background, and and um, yeah, but you know, no, yes and no, Brett. There's you know, there's, there's some guys that you'd like to target, but it's tough. Recruitment's tough these days. Like you know, generally, uh, um, most clubs will have their their really good players locked up early. So you know, you just got to keep looking out. But what do the Brumbies do? We develop players. You know, Tom Banks came to us two years ago. Um, and, and hadn't played Super Rugby now, he's pushing for Wallaby spots. So it's, it's not about finding going out there and finding a rock star, I think it's about going out there and finding the guys who we think are, are going to develop because that's what we've always done as a club and, and we're going to continue that. Your first year as head coach as well, how do you, what do you reckon you've learned from this 
I was asked this question uh, a few nights ago at a promo actually and, and I, I, I wasn't sure, you know, I think uh, you, know, you, you learn so many things, um, you, you learn that it's, one thing I've learned is you, you got to turn up Saturday fresh, have the players fresh, you know, you want to train hard and you've got to train smart, making sure that the players in their mind think that they're fresh and ready to perform and I probably got that wrong a couple of times early in the year, I think of that Reds week on the back of Japan. Um, you know, we probably trained too hard leading into that game and, and we, we played tired and um, people would look at that game and think, geez, the Brumbies aren't fit, but you know, I'd back us to be as fit as any group in the, in the competition. So, so just little things like that, um, which I've got to acknowledge and, and, uh, and, and learn from and, and make sure we don't make the same mistake again. Christian, does this really good end to the season over the last four or five weeks? make any difference to your thoughts about the future of next year and whether you'd like to come back and play here again next year? Um, no, not, not at all. I think I've um, loved playing at this, um, for this town and city for a long time um, and seeing this group grow, I don't think it adds any more. I think it's, uh, I've always loved it here. I wouldn't say it's helped make a decision. I, I've always loved it here and um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll hopefully have a decision soon on what, we, what we're going to do, but I'm um, glad that the um, club are letting me go to experience um, a different um, rugby setup as well and a different culture. So, yeah, I wouldn't say it's going to help me. I think it's. Uh, I've always known it. I've always known that it's a special place. If you have come through the season after everything you've been through in the past, just your, your feelings on completing the season with the Brumbies? Um, yeah, pretty proud, eh? Uh, just uh, a massive journey, and to be able to get through a season uh, being managed well by by Dan and the performing uh, performance staff has been fantastic. And the medical team, um, they've been working behind the scenes on <clears throat> making sure that uh, yeah I can just get through. <clears throat> My health was always going to be number one, and um, that's what I really loved in, in the club is that the way they've managed me throughout. And yeah, obviously the last little month and a bit has been the best I've felt throughout the whole two years. So it's really, really pleasing, mate, and um, something that I'm grateful for as well. Dan, you had a couple of injuries there in the first half. Uh, Henry and Issa, how have they pulled up? Oh, there's no uh, definitive answer there. I think, yeah, is he live? It looked you know, like a cinders to me, but I've got to talk to the medical staff. Um, and then, yeah, Henry, I'm, I'm not sure, but um, you know, just fingers crossed it's nothing, uh, nothing long term there. They both played very good while they were on the field. I thought Izzy was outstanding and Henry's 35 minutes was up there some of his best. What, what's he actually done? What, what area or region is he? I couldn't, I couldn't give you that answer at the moment, yeah. I, uh, I have not spoken to the medical staff. I've just been in there singing the song. Christian, if it is, if it is indeed your last time you wear the, wear the Brumbies jersey, um, it was tonight kind of the perfect way to finish? <coughs> Um, like every time I put the jersey on, it's special, mate. Um, take a pick of it every time I get into the chamber because you never know if it's your last. And um, yeah, tonight was no different. Whether we got a result or not, I think um, yeah, it's always always special with this group of guys and, and seeing the growth over the years um, really encouraged me as well to to obviously um, grow as a leader and um, be able to help um, encourage the young guys and, and help the team move forward as well. So always really really special, mate. So. Um, Tonight, probably, you know, this one probably makes it a little bit more if, if you're looking for that. Can, uh, how close did Scott CEO come? Was it more of a precautionary thing? Or? Yeah, he was very close. Um, you know, obviously, I wouldn't have named him there if I wanted to give him every opportunity, but Scotty's got plenty of footy ahead of him. Uh, this year, his strength wasn't, you know, wasn't quite where it needed to be uh, in his position. That's, you know, that's a risk. Um, and, you know, one thing that our medical staff uh, we're, we're always big on, yeah, it's one thing to be fit, but you've got to be able to perform and, and Scotty probably wasn't at, at, at that level, um, so we decided to give him another week and you know, he'll be nice and fresh now for the blood of slow. We've got, we got, got a glimpse back in April, the Reds were in Canberra, it clicked pretty well, but it was the South African tour where everything looked like it was starting to gel. Do you, do you put anything, do you put it down to anything? It just looked like things started to click and then you've gone forward. Like yeah, yeah I think um, even the Rebels game, like we're in 24-10, you, know, you talk about moments within a season that, that you look back on with, with regret. That was, that was, you know, that's obviously cost us big time. I don't think we changed a whole lot, Brett. You know, we're working on our offload game, our support play, all, all those little things within, within our game. But the, the, I think it was just our messaging. 
Uh, and you've heard the players quote it, you know, Falau's quoted a couple of times, Banks is the same, just in and around removing the fear and, and, and playing with freedom. So I, I think that's once once they got that in their minds and and, and we'd look at mistakes in a review session, for example, and if it was a mistake, but a mistake of a player having a go, then, then we'd pat that on the back. You know what I mean? Like, because that's that's the way. We're, that's the only way we're going to grow. If I'm if we're beating players up about errors, we won't we won't improve. So, mainly just the messaging, I think, was was the big thing. And you know, there's such a psychological element to, to this game. We, we train skill, we train physical development. Um, what happens between the years is is massive. Could you feel the shift, Christian, when <coughs> when things did start click? Um, yeah, there were just the the confidence in the group just started to sort of just grow more and more because of the, the ownership they were taking on their performances and um, we reviewed hard as a team and started to get a, um, really honest and guys started to learn that way which was really, really positive for us and when you, when you start to see that kind of thing happen in a group it's um, yeah only a plus for the, for the side and um, yeah I think when you talk about shifts I think that's, that's the big growth that we, we sort of felt as a unit. <laughs> For, us, for for you, was it satisfying at all to come back at this level? Um, I know you played in Ireland in one game last year, but to prove you could do it again, to lead a team around? Yeah, and um, really, really special and satisfying, mate, to put this jersey on again. Because <clears throat> um, it's something that I, I love so much, you know, and to be able to have a chance to do it again and get through a year and um, to be able to lead a special group of guys is um, always, always special for me and something that... I'll never forget, you know, like uh, it's almost like ticking the box, you know, to, to say that I've, I'm back, um, that I've done what I wanted to achieve and ne when I never thought I could. I could. Danny, over just how, how important has it been seeing Christian come back and, and leave the group? Oh, yeah, it's massive. I, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, astounding to think where Bros came. You know, I remember seeing photos of Bros in sort of January 2017 and and uh, you know he was sick and, and, and getting treatment and uh, inspiration all these words have been used and, and um, uh, yeah he's such an important part of our group you know he's he, he's selfless um, isn't about himself uh, despite the journey that he's been he's been through and you know we faced it a couple of times you know last night we caught up with one of our favourites, Anita Vaya, you know, and, and it is one of the greats. Uh, honestly, he, he's such a good man and, and um, it was good to see him, but, uh, you know, I sort of had a bit of a chat to him and then you walk away a little bit sad thinking this player can't play footy. It, um, but he's happy and healthy and, and that's important. And, and, you know, obviously Christian now has had the opportunity to lead us, lead us well. And I, and I feel that he's, you know, the last sort of couple of months of the season, Bruz is back to his best, you know, so, um, you know, he's... Uh, uh, an integral member of our club, and, and, and no one's more important. You went big, obviously, in the second row with the two the two Arnold boys. You had Blake Hennepin there as well. How well do you feel that that helped you tonight? Yeah, they were physical, weren't they? The, the, the twins, um, as as was Blake, and then Carts is coming back from injury. So, yeah, I think that uh, you know, whilst we talk about our skill and, and 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 playing and seeing opportunities in front of us, you can only do that if the big fellows up front do their job and, and um, I thought the front row was outstanding, Al Alatoa, uh, again Fainga, Mayhew and, and uh, the three players that you mentioned were were very good and then obviously Poey and, and Izzy Nicerani, Poey just delivers week after week so you know, I thought the forwards were as a collective were, were outstanding tonight and it was nice for the Arnold twins, um, Richie's moving on um, at the end of the year and it was nice for them to um, play together in front of their family. How do you um, how do you use the NRC to your advantage now? You obviously keep a lot of the squad together. Mm. So do you hand the follower over to the script and say this is how long to play or uh, oh no. You know, we've, we've had a lot of chats with Scroove, just mainly just sitting around who's going to be available, and because it's a bit tricky this time of year, trying to, especially for the NRC coach, knowing he'll he'll be available, he'll be playing, who's who's you know who's going elsewhere, that, those sort of things. Um, I'll probably sit down with him over the next couple of weeks and just you know say this is how we've played. Um, but I think that the beauty of how we did NRC last year is it wasn't a carbon copy of the Brumbies. It was there's Timmy Sampson, this is how he wants to play. Um, new calls, just it's that mental refresher as well. Um, and, and, and I certainly won't be telling Scrib on how to coach. You know, I'll give him an idea on what we've done well here and what we're working on. But um, NRC's uh, his competition. Thanks, guys.
Thank you.